You can do it right now. Today. Hi, Ella. We're going to Canopy today. Um, we haven't been there all summer and it was just kind of like a spur of the moment. We want to go today. Ella's birthday is in a couple weeks, so I figured it'd be early celebration. Right, lady? Yep. Yep. How old are you going to be in a couple weeks? Seven. <gasps> oh my goodness. And what grade are we going to start in a couple weeks? Second. Second grade? Are you serious? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I was trying to hold you <laughs> this way, but you kept going around that way. Oh, that's <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> watch out. Oh. <laughs> I gotta be a little bit on the quieter side because my son is sleeping in my room, but we're in Hunter's room. Oh my God, are you serious? So we got one of the walls is painted this green and then the other walls, that back wall is the other color. This hasn't been painted yet. Behind me hasn't been painted yet, so I came up here. I'm not going to be able to get much done because I don't think Hunter is going to be down that much longer, but I'm going to try to paint a little bit more. Oh, I have been trying. It was weird because I like got super inspired to start vlogging again, and then I was just like, I was struggling to edit and upload, and so <laughs> I have been so up and down with my mental health over the past year, with the divorce, with having a new baby, so much in between the sexual assault that I still haven't done a story time on because I'm still struggling to relive the story. There's so much that I haven't mentally taken care of yet and I'm trying to slowly but surely keep myself busy with stuff that I love. I went outside. I keep getting distracted by this. I went outside. I don't know if that's a scratch or I'm very sweaty. My makeup is very old. And I also ran out of primer, so it's melting off my face. But I'm trying to just keep, keep motivated to keep going even when sometimes it's hard for me to. Um, so there's that. But like I said, we're gonna paint my son's room today. I figured I would just share that. I'll have to find the swatches for you guys. I don't remember where I put them. And unfortunately, I don't think this tells me what color this is, this green here. But it is a bear paint from Home Depot. The swatch, that's really not gonna help much. I don't remember the name of it. And I don't think I have the swatches. And then this uh, beige color, again, same deal. I don't have the swatch, there's a little sample on top. It's just a really light tan. I figured it would go really nice with that green. And then we just, we just bought the carpet padding for his room. We're gonna go get the carpet on Monday when I don't have the kids when they're at daddy's because the carpet won't fit in my car with everybody in there. And then we'll be able to lie down the carpet and then move Hunter in. We also just picked up some outlets as well. So it's moving and grooving. I'm honestly expecting probably by the end of the week to uh, have a completed or pretty much completed. We have to, we have to button up the uh, closet and stuff, but like a 99% completed bedroom which is amazing. What? So I'm like 99% sure that I've showed you guys the finished bathroom, which is right next door. Uh, if I didn't, that will be next in the, in the next vlog, but I'm pretty sure that I did already. And I got absolutely nothing done. <laughs> and what are you doing? Tickling him. <laughs> <laughs> In the arm pit. 
We, I got some cranky kids in the car. We're gonna go order some pizza for dinner tonight. And then tomorrow, I just got reminded, we have Kids Fest. So I know that I said earlier that this whole vlog would just be like Hunter's room update. Definitely still gonna be in this vlog. Maybe not yeah. finished, but between this vlog and next vlog, his room should be done. But we're gonna include Kids Fest in the morning too. Do you wanna see my head, new headband? Sure. I didn't even know I had this one. I have two of them, but the other one's at home, but it's broken. Ooh. This one. Pretty. A blue, blue and a pink. Nice. It's yeah, like gotta... one of my others. I had three, I think. Yeah, I gotta fix the blue one. You have a gold one. Yeah. And then I think you have the pink one. Oh my goodness. Don't look at my makeup. It's been a long day, okay? Hi, honey. <gasps> Yummy pizza. We got some regular cheese. We got Alfredo, Ella's favorite. We got some cheesy bread. And I have some honey barbecue wings over here that I was working on. Hi, Bubblicious. You okay? All right, well, my little guy finishes up dinner. <laughs> Hi, sweetie. Ella is outside right now playing with one of the neighbor kids. So I have, the kids are leaving tomorrow night. I have two bananas that are getting a little too ripe. And by the time the kids come back, these are gonna be no good. So I didn't wanna just throw them away. Today we're gonna try to make these banana nut uh, banana chocolate chip cookies. I will leave the link to this recipe in the description box. In case I forget, remind me if I do forget, you can also just search. I think it's mom's, mom's, mom's on timeout.com. And again, they're banana chocolate chip cookies. It was like the first thing I found when I searched on Google. I don't have the best angle possible to show you guys. I wish I could work here, but obviously my uh, stove is in the way. So we're going to need two cups of all-purpose flour. Mine is just in this little bag. And I also don't know where my cup went. So I have a third cup, so we need two cups, obviously three in a cup, which means we need six of these for two cups of flour. And I don't need a strainer. That's not gonna help me. We're gonna need one teaspoon of baking soda. A tablespoon of cornstarch. We need a teaspoon of salt and I just have this table salt. Um, and I'm using a half a teaspoon. That's why I'm doing two for one. So there's half, one teaspoon of salt, half a cup of unsalted softened butter. My only difference, I don't have unsalted. I just have regular salted right now. And I think half the cup is one stick. Yeah, actually, so it's this whole thing. So I'm gonna pop it in the microwave for like 30 seconds just to get it soft. We'll need two, two ripened and peeled bananas, which actually works out perfectly because I just happen to have two left. Granted, they could probably even be a little more ripened, but like I said, since the kids leave tomorrow, um, I might as well use them up. Anyways, they'll be no good when they get back. Give me those brownies. <laughs> I also made brownies the other day. I also have a cake sitting behind you. Anyway, I also have my butter out of the microwave. Little too long, but it'll work. One cup of brown sugar, which is also another thing I'm gonna have to kind of do a substitute on. I have brown sugar, but it's dark brown sugar. I don't know if this is gonna make a huge difference. I, I Obviously, there's a light brown and dark brown for a reason. I just, I'm not a professional baker. I don't know. This is what I got. This is what we're working with. And you get out of my pantry. There's my cup. I feel like I'm an absolute mess right now to be honest with you here's our one cup again it's asking for light brown sugar we're using dark this was super messy too but we need a fourth cup of granulated sugar i just did it off camera like i said it made a giant mess we need yeah two teaspoons of vanilla extract again this is my half teaspoon so we're gonna need four of these one two three and oh god and one and a half cups of chocolate chips i'm doing my best to show you guys what's going on on my counter but you'll also see the mess in my sink so please excuse that to start off with the flour i am going to 
sifted and make sure we get out any clumps. Our baking soda, our cornstarch, salt. Honestly, my whisk is broken. The handle broke off. But we're just gonna whisk these ingredients together. Next, we're taking more wet ingredients. So we're gonna cream together our butter, our bananas. And honestly, you could probably mush, mush these up beforehand, but we're gonna throw them in as so. And our sugars, we're also going to cream together. There's probably a more professional way to do this, like adding it in a little at a time, you know. But um, I'm a mom with a sink full of dishes and very little time. So this is how we're going to do it. I have to cream these together real quick off camera because I need another plug. I will be right back. Then once your ingredients are creamed together, now we're gonna go ahead add our in our vanilla and I'm gonna mix this a little longer. All right, we've got our wet, we've got our dry. Again, I'm gonna have to unfortunately do this off camera, but I'm gonna add in our flour mixture a third at a time. Here goes our second third, our last third. And we're just gonna combine this until it is just combined. We're not gonna over mix it or anything. I use my hand mixer to do like the hard part of the mixing, but I'm just using my rubber spatula to scrape down the sides and make sure there's no um, flour left over. And we have our dough. We're gonna take this dough and cover it with a little bit of plastic wrap. And then we're gonna have to refrigerate this for at least 30 minutes. Um, truthfully, it'll probably be longer for me. I know I'm not doing this right. Don't yell at me. <laughs> my, my plastic wrap thing is broken to cut it, but um, I'm probably gonna leave it in for more like an hour because I gotta give the baby a bath and get him in bed. I wanna get all these dishes in the dishwasher. Is that paint? That might be paint from earlier. Perfecto. And then we will see in a little bit. How we doing? How you doing, baby? How you doing, baby? No, oh God. Wait a minute, was I supposed to add in the chocolate chips now or later? You actual lunatic. I forgot to add the freaking chocolate chips. It's not gonna be chocolate chips with that freaking chocolate chips. Oh my goodness, okay, let's mix these in real quick we gotta do a little bit of cleaning up and I, I was saying that i didn't expect myself to vlog as much as i have been today so truthfully tomorrow's vlog is gonna have the uh kids fest and i think josh is upstairs right now doing the second coat or that coat of paint i didn't get to finish earlier on hunter's room we also went and bought we have the carpet uh, padding out there as well. I'm giving Ella just another few minutes to go play outside with her friend. Mr. Hunter's in the bathtub next to me, drinking way too much water. <laughs> I, uh, I'm just gonna start. I, I'm still making some deliveries tonight. I still do DoorDash on and off. This is my revenues of income, but um, I just wanted to be, I wanted to take my makeup off. I recorded a makeup tutorial earlier, so my makeup was very like loud and baba. He's just drinking all the water. <laughs> my nighttime routine also hasn't changed. I'm still just using my Cetaphil face wash. I'm going to use a little bit of toner, a little cotton pad. Hmm, I had an eye cream. And I don't know where I put it. I don't know. That's a good question. I'm not gonna brush my teeth yet, but let's sit. I'm taking a little bit of my Pond's moisturizer. I was just using the restroom real quick. And I'm adding a Hydro Booster. This is like an Elf Hydrating Booster Drops. I like to add just a drop or two in, especially at night. Can I have some? It's just skin moisture if you want to. After you play with Faith, though, I can give you some after your bath. Okay. Okay. You want to get I I know. Hey, 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 hey. Okay. Go play with your friend. You only got a half hour, and then we're going to take a shower, okay? Okay. I got to get little man out, because now he's trying to drink all the bath water. I <laughs> am We're going to get this little man in some jammies. Yeah. And then off to bed. <laughs>
So there we go. All fresh. Fresh and ready for bed. Okay, so I got two baking sheets lined up. We're gonna finish this vlog. Mama's getting real tired and I gotta get these kids off to sleep. So you can either use parchment paper or just lightly line your tray with uh, baking spray, which is what I did. So I'm just gonna take scoops, what I think would look about right, I guess. bit smaller oh we got two four six eight we got one less i guess that's actually not that bad i'm gonna throw this, these in the oven for nine to ten minutes and then i still have some more left over so we'll make this as well my cookies are done and cooling so i ended up getting a total of two four six eight ten twelve fourteen sixteen eighteen twenty twenty two 22 cookies out of that one recipe so plenty i'll definitely have enough to i can freeze some of them um i'm sure they'd be good for up to a month or so because uh, there's no way that this little boy is going to eat all these cookies 